premise is that it's uh, the audience think they're on this kind of conventional tour of, you know, which is sort of part of the centenary tour, and you go to the iconic places, which includes the boathouse, the um, the grave, uh, Browns, etc. But you know, we've slightly subverted them. The premise is that voice it hijacks this tour, and he kind of presents his kind of vision of the underbelly of Larne and the intriguing world that is under Milk Wood. You know, the idea basically came from, you know, Dylan Thomas used to sit in the snug and he used to just, you know, have his half pint and just, you know, can you imagine absorbing all the stories? And those stories became the raw material for the characters of Under Milk Wood. So then the more I got talking to John and the more he discovered or tell me the anecdotes of contemporary land, I thought, well, this is the person I want to work with because he can really open, open that world. And I, I, access, you know, I can have access to that world through him. Mark approached me six, seven months ago uh, to be his guide. And then within a few days, um, we realised that this was a show that would be best if we did it together. It was his realisation and my hope, really. So, seven months later, we're about to open. Massive, crazy show taking place all around Larne with singers and actors and uh, school children and many, many wonderful and incredible things, some of which we just sort of dreamt up for fun. And it's quite incredible to see large, strong men building these things that came out of our imagination. So yeah, very exciting. Raw material is probably one of the most multimedia, multi-platform things that NTW has ever done. And we've got a reputation for doing a lot of digital and multi-platform work. For the audience coming over the weekend, there will be the live performance. Um, and then on the Monday evening at 7 p.m. on BBC One Wales, there will be the BBC version of Under Milk Wood incorporating some of the footage from the live performance. At the same time, uh, we'll be working on a video record of the live performance, which will be turned into a webcast, which will go live on the Monday evening. And um, of course, there will be loads of other background information and footage released through the various websites, through the BBC's Dylan Thomas website and through the National Theatre Wales website. Once all of that is done, we'll also be working on yet another version of the material, an interactive digital version that will be released in June. Um, more details of that will be announced over the weeks after the show.